Good morning, you guys. Welcome to my channel. So today I thought that I would do an unboxing with you guys. So I am actually an affiliate with Artsa. It is a subscription through a Christian based company in Israel. And this is actually a way that you can have a little piece of the Holy Land delivered to you quarterly. This box is really beautifully put together. It's from artisans in Israel. And what's really cool is depending on the box, it comes from a different place in Israel. So for instance, our Christmas box came from Bethlehem, which was so beautiful. The stuff that came inside, I just love. I have a couple ornaments from there, really pretty artwork that goes up for Christmas time. And then I actually had chocolates in there that were really fun to try. Really beautifully done watercolor little paintings that I have framed and they are up in my home and I just love them. So anyways, I love the fact that this little piece of the Holy Land gets delivered here quarterly to me. This is only my second box and I did take a peek inside, but I did not read anything. I just kind of I just kind of peaked you guys because I've had it for about a week and I couldn't help myself. So I wanted to take a peek, but I really want to share with you guys what um, this box has inside. So I hope that you guys stick around and hang out with me. So, so today this is from Golan Heights. So when they started this company, they they put it together because a lot of people weren't able to travel to Israel anymore, especially with what has been going on for the past few years. So they found a way that they can actually have Israel delivered to your doorstep. And I just think that's awesome, not only for the people that could travel there and just haven't been able to, but for people like me that can't really travel to Israel. I mean, it's really expensive. We have young kids, you know, you know how it is. So it's kind of nice that there's something that can be delivered from there to here you know so with that being said let's open the box you guys so inside when you open it it has a little pack of little cards and this just kind of breaks down what's inside and then they have this large poster card in here and it talks about Golan Heights. What's really cool about this too is in the Christmas subscription, I received a coloring book and on one side it's like buildings from Bethlehem and then on the other side, it has a breakdown of what those buildings are. So I'm going to actually incorporate that into my Bible class next year and I'm really, really excited for that. But with these boxes, some of the things inside you can do with your children. So this is really cool to be able to read over and go over it with my kids. Um, they have it packaged really nice. So there's just some little paper shredded in here. So I'm just gonna move that aside. Okay, so in this little packet here, it comes with different little postcards that kind of explain what items are inside of the box and an artisan that put it together. First, I wanted to kind of point out that they send you this little postcard and on the back, it just has a breakdown of the list of items that are in your box and where they came from. So I'll kind of show you guys as we open and go through what we got in this box. So first thing here, is a Golan Dew scented soy wax candle. It's a four ounce and it is 100% vegan. It is by the company Shianada um, and it says body and soul. So let's smell it. Oh my gosh, you guys, that smells really good. It has like a sweet, fresh smell. It smells really good. I wish you guys could smell it, but it's so it says hand poured Golan Dew scented candle. Bring the scent of the Golan Spring in its full bloom to your home. And you guys, it smells really good. Okay, uh, so the next thing that we have here is, let's see here, natural spices, rose barak, barak, I think it's called. Um, it's just the spice here. This is a pretty large bag. It is 3.1 ounce. 
So this is the artisan that made the spice and then it has like a little story on her, which I think is really cool because it makes it more of a personal experience when you open the, these boxes. So I really like that. And then it came with this little recipe card and it has the recipe here on the back on how to make this chicken. It's sumac or sumac roast chicken. You guys, I'm probably saying that wrong. But so that goes with that. The next thing that we have here is this beautifully painted metal sculpture. It has different little birds on it. And these look kind of like some sort of fruit maybe. I'm not quite sure, but isn't that so pretty, you guys? And then it has the signature here on the back of the artist. And that came with, I'm gonna put this here. And that came with this little card here and this just kind of has a breakdown of who the artist is and what type of artistry he does and then it has just his information for the business on the back so i think that that's really beautiful i'm not sure if i'm going to put that out here in the school room or if i'm going to put it in our family room but i really like the colors in it oh i wanted to point out something else they send you a few cards like little postcards from the country. And then on the back, it talks about it. So this is Mount Hermon. And so it talks a little bit about it back here. This again, you can talk to your kids about while you're doing Bible. I think that that would be really cool. And here's uh, Gamla Fortress, Gamla Fortress. I'm not sure you guys, oh my gosh, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. So the next thing that we have, I'm like, what do I show you guys? So we have some tea for all of you tea lovers out there. This is Shalva Tea Israeli Herbal Infusion. Golan Heights Blend. It's lemongrass, rose, and lemon verbena. That looks really delicious. I have really tried to get into tea, you guys, because I'm a coffee drinker. Um, but you know, I'll have some here and there, but I'm not huge on tea. My husband, I would say, likes tea more than I do, but I want to open it and smell it. <laughs> I was go going to open the spice, but I didn't know if it was going to be too strong and I'd choke on it, you know. <laughs> that smells good. It smells like lemon. I smell a lot of lemon in it, but it smells really good. It smells fresh or citrusy maybe. Okay, so there's our lemon. And then in here, it shows the artisan who does the lemon, who made it, and then his story here on the back. So they basically do that with everything here. Um, another thing in here, this, I'm not sure exactly what this is. I'm going to have to open it. Let's open it. But anytime I can incorporate anything into our homeschool room, that is a win for me, especially when it comes to Bible. Um, I love Bible. It's my favorite subject throughout the day. And I know it's not a subject, but it's my favorite thing to work on with the kids throughout the day during our homeschool. So this next one is really cool, you guys. This is a Hebrew alphabet challenge. So you open up this really nice box and inside there are these cards. Let me see if I could get them out. Okay, those are the instructions there. But on the back, you're gonna see a letter. And this is, what is Taf? I thought that we were doing letters. Hold on, let's, let's open the packaging up here. I want to make sure I don't cut the actual cards. I'm like so excited to know exactly what this is. But when I heard Hebrew alphabet, that seems pretty fun to me. Okay, you guys. So looking at this, I'm a little, I'm a little confused. I'd have to really read it. Um, but it comes with, so it's called Gaia's Tangram. So it comes with these cards and it shows these different signs i guess or it's an alphabet so it must be their alphabet right and then inside the box it has these little pieces of wood 
and they are it's two sets basically of the same shapes so so they have two of these here right two of these and then two of these and then two of these let's see if sure if you guys could even see it and then two of these and I'm pretty sure we have to try to um, build those letters according to the card. So I'm going to have to look into this, but this would be a really cool family game maybe or homeschool game when you're doing Bible or talking about the Hebrew alphabet, maybe in one of your guys' lessons, something like that. My niece who's in eighth grade last year for seventh, we did from Adam to us and they talked a little bit about the Greek alphabet and the Hebrew alphabet. So this would have been really cool to do at that time to kind of look over this and maybe play it. So this looks really cool. So this is a card about the family that came up with this and I guess that they make different games and sell different games. So this one's really cool. I'm really interested into knowing more about that. The next thing I have in here is Chocolate Mania, white chocolate squares with raw cocoa nibs. That looks delicious, you guys. I'm excited to try chocolate. Who doesn't love chocolate or candy? I love it. My daughter's super excited to try that. And the last thing I have in here is, says um, Maranatha, the Wise Virgin's Parable, clay oil lamp and filler set. Jesus period replica pottery, educational and fully functional. Be prepared. So it's basically um, the lamp, talking about the, the virgins that had their lamps ready. So to go with Jesus. So, oh, this is pretty. So it has this really pretty card in here that has information inside. Wise and ready. Herodian oil lamp and filler. So it talks about that in there. And it says Maranatha. If you guys don't know what Maranatha means, it means come Lord Jesus. So I love that. My ring actually says Maranatha on it. I had it engraved on it. So just waiting on the Lord, you guys. Um, so it comes with this here. This is really really cool you guys so it comes with that and it comes with this to do the oil obviously it doesn't come with the oil so you guys would need that this would be really cool to use if you're teaching about that verse in the bible um, to pull these out and kind of do it with the kids i think that that would just kind of put it more into real life you know instead of just reading it in the bible and talking about it you could really discuss it and do it together so and it's a really really beautiful clay i think what type of it it's a it's pottery so that is really cool you guys i just love knowing that these items came from where jesus once walked i just love that um kind of puts a whole other perspective on the items and I know these are things of this world, so I'm not going to hold on to them, you know, like that. But I just think it's kind of cool, especially if I can never go there. You know, I can at least have the things in my home from there. So on the box, it says, Jesus parable of the wise virgins. Then the kingdom of heaven shall be likened to ten virgins who took their lamps and went on to meet the bridegroom. Now five of them were wise and five were foolish. Those who were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. But the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. Matthew 4, 25, 1. That gave me goosebumps, you guys, just a little bit. So I think that this is really, really cool. So that is it, you guys. That is everything that was in the box. I'm honestly super excited to use some of these things. And I just... I, I love this box. You know, there's there's times where moms don't really get things for themselves or we're always thinking about, you know, our kids and our husbands and taking care of the house, but sometimes it's nice to treat ourselves. And for me, honestly, 
the point in my life I'm not really a collector in any way anymore I used to be or you know buying clothes all the time or shoes and things like that my my life has shifted in a way to where I'm just you know I take care of the family and um, most of my focus is just you know on our home and on homeschool so I kind of don't really get myself anything. So this is a surprise to me every quarter. It's something I look forward to getting in the mail and seeing, and it comes from God. So yes, they're earthly things, but they still have a significance because they're coming from the Holy Land. I just think that's so cool. So I really wanted to share this box with you guys, just in case you guys are feeling like you don't really, you know, get yourself much and I don't know if you guys ever wanted to treat yourself or treat your mother or your sister, you know, anybody in your life that you love that you think would enjoy this. So I will have the link down below for you guys. If you are interested at all in this, you can get 20% off using my code simply 20. And yeah, so I know Easter is right around the corner and be a perfect time to get your mom or sister or somebody special to you, a woman in your life, something like this. So, I mean, this can even go to men. It's it's not really based towards women, I don't think. Um, anybody that just loves Jesus and Israel and um, wants a little piece of the Holy Land in their home. So, that's it, you guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. It was a little different. I never do unboxings like this just on its own, but I thought it'd be kind of cool to sit down with you guys and just show you what came in this box. So, thanks again for hanging out. If you haven't already subscribed, hit that red subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. That way I know that you enjoyed this content. Thanks again for hanging out, you guys. Be safe, be blessed, and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye, guys.